Hello everybody, it's Davey the Computer Guy here today, and we are actually going to be working on my laptop today. So basically, this laptop is running Windows 10 right now. Actually, it's dual-booted Windows 10 and Linux Ubuntu 16.04. Um, but it's not been working properly. Like, Windows 10 has some weird glitches going on, like whenever I shut the lid, it powers down even though it's told not to. And I looked up the issue, and it seems to be related with Windows. So, we have a USB stick here, and it contains Windows 8.1 on it. And what we're going to be doing is resetting this and installing Windows 8.1 to see if that fixes any of the issues. Because this laptop did originally come with Windows 8.1, then I upgraded it, and that didn't go so well, apparently. So, yeah. So let's just start off by taking our USB, plugging it into the USB port, maybe. Oh, come on. This is weird. There we go. Okay. Now we will start the laptop. We are going to press F12, I believe. Yes. And we're going to go to USB storage device, press any key, and it didn't go. Lovely. Okay. Let's try this again. F12. Yes. Boop. There we go. I have a Windows logo, and this is out of focus again. Hang on. Come on, focus camera. Let's try moving it in closer, maybe that'll help. Okay, so we have the Windows 8 window here. We're just going to make sure everything is correct. My mouse apparently doesn't work. All right, we have English, English, US. Yes. Next, install now. Windows 8 and Windows 10 do use the exact same um, installation thing to install them, so yeah. And I need my product key. We'll be right back. Okay, we have gotten past that now. Let's just plug, I'm going to just plug my mouse back in here, because it makes it a lot more convenient. Alright, let's see, yes, okay, accept, next, want to custom, want to delete all the partitions, I've gotten everything off of here that I don't, or that I need, so it's okay, delete, there we go, next. And now it is copying Windows files, which it will be doing for the next while. It'll be doing all this for probably half hour or so. So uh, we will be back when this is done. Look at where we are. We're on the desktop. Yay. All right. Well, now that we've made it to the desktop, let's just check some stuff. We do indeed have the Windows 8 start menu. And the App Explorer and all that good stuff. Alright, I'm going to activate Windows and get some software on it that I use and we'll be back. This ought to apply to you guys in the tech world. We are going to, I'm going to show you how I share my local drive so that I can move stuff over the network. So you go to Properties to click on sharing up at the top and go to advanced sharing if you want to click share this folder give it a name um, laptop hard drive then we want to go to permissions for me I'm going to put it on full control because that's just how I want to do it Oops. And now it is a shared drive, so if I plug the network in, 
Oh, I keep bouncing the camera everywhere. Sorry, people. Just grab my network cable and put that into the side of my laptop. Yes, we do want to find stuff on the network. We go to network here and turn on file sharing. And stuff is popping up. That's good. Stuff should be popping up over here too. Alright, if we come over here real quick, you will see maybe that there is the laptop coming up on my main computer. So if we just click on that, it will ask us for the username and password. One second. Unless, of course, I've entered something wrong, in which case we're not going to get very far. Um, right, okay, so let's just go in here. Sharing. Network and sharing. Turn that off. Alright. Now let's just close this. We're going to try this again. Apparently we still have to enter our password. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's try refreshing. I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently that computer needed to restart to get done what I needed it to do. So it's just going to start up again here. That's normal. It's network boot. We don't want a network boot. That would be bad. There is no OS stored in the network to boot from. So we are booting into Windows 8. And now the touch screen is coming on, which is why that screen is flickering like crazy. Alright, we are logging in. Sorry for the sniffling, I have a bit of a cold. We are in, I wish the screen would not flicker, I'm sorry about that people. That's just how this works, let's try turning up the brightness a little bit, that might help. No? Um, okay, so now we are going to try to connect again remotely. So we'll see how this goes. We go in there, we go to. Still says it's not right. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go to sharing. We have. All right. Well, let's see if we can just share the network drive. Map network drive. Share z slash slash. Av. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but. It's not really that interesting. Specifying network. Oh. We have the first set of software, which is definitely Google Chrome, because, yeah. I don't like Windows or Internet Explorer at all. And because I'm plugged into Ethernet, that would be a very fast download. Speaking of the devil, maybe not. This laptop is definitely beginning to show its age. 
Alright, I'll be right back. Alright. <clears throat> Jeez, sorry about that. Um, Google Chrome is now up and running, and I just gotta install the applications like HitFilm and stuff, and that's all kind of boring, so we're not going to bore you with that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time on Davy the Computer Guy. Bye.